But that being said, I think this leads into our uh, our conversation a little bit. What game should be the whiteout, Steve? God, I'd be shocked if it were Illinois. Um, I mean, I mean, maybe not shocked, but it just. Although if it ends up, usually you know that before the season begins, right? So right. it's going to be a two week window. Not that people so and people can certainly figure it out in two weeks and wear, and wear something white. Um, it's homecoming. People would be excited by that, and they've gotten off. I don't. I didn't pull my spreadsheet up. It's on there in front of me. Like they've gotten off. They were on a run of noon homecoming games for the longest time, and they got off it a little bit the past couple of years. Um, I, I'm so I, I think if, and I know they have a losing record in whiteout games. I think it's Ohio State. Like I just think that you just give that. You make it doesn't matter if it's noon. It's white. It's cool. It works. I uh, so kind of talked about this on Twitter this week uh, because I I agree with your your thought process there, um, and I agree with like everybody kind of no there's no at like nobody's saying that like it doesn't really seem like that it's going to be the case that Illinois is going to do the white game whiteout game. There's no law that says it has to be a. a, a a night game or can't be a noon game and it can't be this or that to me when i think about the the whiteout like yes it's better at night but i also think because they either haven't really played the game that much at, at noon and or haven't won that many games at noon that right. are whiteouts there's no special memory around it and i think that is why I'm okay with as it shakes out looking like Ohio State probably would, would be the whiteout. I, I think it's I think also like you look at the games, like there's like a like a kind of a borderline like gross like money like play here. Like yes, you could make it the Illinois game as the reason to get butts in seats. But that's a, to me, that's a money play. And I think people will reject that pretty quickly. Like, but is it, a, is the difference in, in the attendance going to be anything bigger because of the whiteout? I mean, Illinois, they've sold the same number of tickets. I mean, maybe there's, uh, I mean, especially if it's homecoming, they're going to sell that out. Right. Well, so, but that's what I'm saying. Like you don't need this. You don't need right. the support there. You don't need another reason. Homecoming is usually a hundred thousand plus game on average, pretty consistently, regardless of the opponent. Um, I just, I don't know. I get very, uh, I think it could be gross. Like I would be very annoyed if it's the Illinois game. Cause it feels like it's a money grab to prime highlight this in prime time. And when you look at like the, it, it's really the opponent that matters more, um, that, that impacts the TV ratings, impacts the attendance ratings. Um, what? And it matters whose week it is, right? Like when we going back to a couple of weeks ago in our thing and, and the guy, Mike Mulvihill from Fox, like Fox has five of the first seven weeks with the number one pick, right? Right. So it just depends on where it falls that weekend. And there's not a lot. I mean, I don't know what Fox is going to take for big noon. Right now, Nebraska Purdue's at noon that weekend, but I don't. we don't have a TV listing for it. Ohio State's at Michigan State. You would assume that's the big noon game because Wisconsin's at USC, not going to happen at noon. Oregon's at UCLA, not going to happen at noon. So if Fox if if Fox has first choice that week, Nebraska Purdue is at noon, but that's not a that's not a big noon game if Ohio State's playing anywhere. And Michigan State, that's early enough that they don't suck. Like if for some reason Michigan State comes out of the box one and four or some crazy thing like that or oh and whatever, they're the most know. appealing game. Yeah, that's at least an appealing game on that schedule. So I I don't know. I did have this other thought that, and it hit me after we did the podcast. I think our last podcast was the one we discussed the Beaver Stadium renovations. This this whiteout game is the definitive last chance to break the attendance record, because unless they add on to the stadium, because they're going to they're going to decrease the stadium size by at least five hundred seats is kind of what everybody's kind of and it's only come close a couple times. I I think. I've lost track. I think it was a, a Michigan game now. Um, it was the Nebraska game. But they've gotten really close the last few seasons. Hold on. Let me pull You know, I should no, put the this Michi flag. The Michigan one superseded it because the Nebraska one was like they, they kind of double counted some people and it hung there for years. And yes. then they have they have exceeded it in the past couple of seasons. 
So, but it'd be interesting to look at kick times for those games. So Ohio mm -hmm. State, uh, the number one attendance is Ohio State um, game in 2018. And then last year's Michigan game is number two, and it's by 43 people is what the difference was. And then that, new, that Michigan game was, that a was a noon game. Yes. Right. So I just, I have to imagine that, why not go for it? You know what I'm saying? Like, why not swing for the fences and try to break the attendance record? Because this is going to be their last shot to do it, probably, logistically, um, unless they're adding a lot more doors, and I don't think they are. The Ohio State game was 7.30 that season, 2018. Yeah, and I, I don't know that that Whiteout drives it as much as Jim Harbaugh drives it, right? Like like that well, Michigan game. I, I mean, I don't know. The The third game on that list is the Iowa game from last season, and there's 26 less people there. Right. So, so it might, that it was might be about the home team. team. Yeah. I mean, if they really I, wanted to do it, they could. I mean, and they really should think about that this season, honestly. And they can't pick one of the, the crappy games to start of the season because people are just going to buy it, see it as a ploy, right? And say they want to take money. But find one of the games, whatever they theme it wise, and say, this is the last chance to be, be present for the largest game ever in Beaver yep. Stadium history if you show up because there's not going to be a large one in history next season or the season after or the season after. Mm -hmm.